All right, we're back after break for our special one box competition. This is Dan Chugoth here. I'm here with Chelsea Yaritz. Did I get your name right? Sister of our competitor, Josh Yaritz, right? Yep. Now you guys both showed up today and tried it out at the same time. He made the show. You didn't. Were you close? Um, not really. Elisa did a bit better job than me. Yeah, okay. Elisa hit like an uh, unbelievably high score. You, but you know, that doesn't happen all the time. Oh yeah, yeah. So, you friends with her too then? Yep. Well, this is your chance to get on the show. You've never bowled with us before on the show, right? That's what this is all about. We're giving the uh, kids who try out uh, some lucky raffle winners a chance to compete. Boy, last show, they took me for a ride. I get to throw, the rules of this concept competition is I get to throw one quick ball. Uh, last time I only threw a two. She's going to get to throw up to three balls to try to beat me or tie me. If she does it in one ball, we give her a $20 gift card. If she does it in two, 15. If she does it in three, we give her 10. If she does it, uh, it doesn't beat me at all, which isn't going to happen, we'll give her $5. And uh, I'm going to throw the first ball real quick and then she's going to take over. All right, here we go. Let's see if Sue can do more than two. <laughs> Here we go! He's on the headband! He was really excited to hit the headband. Settles for five! There you go, Dan. Let's see what Chelsea can do. Alright, three on the first ball. She needs Dan two more to two more shot. to get me. I, I'm down to 15 I only have to give her so far. It's three more. She's got it. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> no! What is that? That was awesome. Kids always show off, right? <laughs> All right, we're going to pay her off with our $15 gift card, and then we'll be right back for the exciting second half of our match. Thanks. Stay with us. All right, we're back with game two. <laughs> we have Amanda Banks and Josh Yaris leading today with the 114 against Colleen Dumas and Jonathan Boudreaux's 102. So it's a 12-pin difference. Anybody's ball game, Amanda Banks is ready to lead us off here with game two. It's really good scores. Both of these girls threw a couple of marks each last time. I tried to get the... Uh, their fun facts. Yeah, the fun facts done. I'm not sure if we did any of them uh, when we had the little problem with the scoring last <laughs> stream. Had, we had an adventure at the scoreboard. Nice start by oh, Amanda yeah. Banks with a spare. They'll be adding to their lead right away here. As soon as uh, we get this last ball, we're going to take a second look at that spare real quick. Nice shot by Colleen Dumas. Nice eight to begin the second game. You wanted to replay shoe? You got it. We're going to use the Pilgrim Lanes pin cam to catch Amanda Banks making the 2-5. Back to you, Shu. Thanks, Rob. Colleen Dumas. Her favorite song is You Belong With Me. Her favorite TV show is What I Like About You. Her favorite movie is New Moon. Her favorite food is tacos. And her favorite bowler is the young and awesome Jeff Surratt. Colleen also enjoys basketball on her free time. That's a good favorite bowler right there. Amanda Banks, she, en sh uh, she enjoys uh, her favorite TV show is Secret Life of American Teenager. Her favorite song is Tic Tac. Her favorite movie is The Twilight. Her favorite food is pasta. And her favorite bowler is Aaron Sousa Jr. Jr. I think is in the audience today, Dan. I think Aaron Sousa Sr. got stiffed on that one. <laughs> Ah, I'm sure uh, Junior's going to be really happy with that one. That's good. Okay, and uh, after two, Abanda Banks filled that spear with a nine. Missing the second consecutive spear, but takes a nine box with 28 after two. While Colleen Dumas is at 15 on boxes of eight and seven. So it's a pretty, uh, it's already a pretty hefty lead there, 25 pins. Now, they do face a uh, spread eagle with an additional pin here, so perhaps the challengers can catch up a little on this one. Six is a piece. So it's a 25 pin lead right now for Yaritz and Banks. And it's 21 to 34 in this string in favor of Banks and Yaritz. Our team's looking to put up the biggest score they possibly can to earn that top seed in the championship show. Our top three teams on the season from each, uh, each event that we have will qualify for the championship. It's a pretty decent start already for Banks and Yards. It's really a 114 game, heading for over 50 half. 
we put up a decent score. Both young ladies throw really, really great balls. Very accurate, good form. They have both bowled with us before, is that correct? Uh, I, yes, I, they have. I, I know yes, Amanda has, and I was 90% sure Colleen has. Josh would be the only newcomer to the show for this age group today. Oh, oh geez. Lane three has had a what few a tough, tough shots today. That's really tough, Dan. That's, that's that. I was thinking we might see a strike on that one. I'd and rather have Amanda's. You got that right. Amanda, they're all in a bunch. Amanda threw a tough ball, but like you said, they're all in a bunch. Colleen's got a little work to do. Nice throw by Banks. Makes the diamond. Really nice 10. And a tough five for Colleen. This is with that 54 half. It's pretty consistent bowling from Amanda Banks. She had a 53 half and a 54 half. Banks picked up another 19 pins to add to their 12 pin lead. So it's 31 overall. Boudreaux's got some work to do. But all our kids, if they if they do, the team that does qualify for the championship show today, uh, they can come back next month, providing they move up in age group. There's a spare by Boudreaux. He'll need a few more of those. Boudreaux's good and he's at comebacks, capable. but this, this would be an epic comeback if he can do it. But There's an eight for Josh Yaritz. And 62 through six. And it's not a 29 minus this big fill for John. He does a strike. He's right back in the match, you know. Still it'll, needs a few more marks. That, uh, that lead into the teens. On the quarter pin, looking for a little lady luck here. You start putting and there it is. 18 and 20 boxes up. Sometimes your opponent feels that pressure too, even with the big lead. Oh. Nice, nice ball by Josh Yaritz. Nearly uh, completing the spare. Boudreaux had a spare lead, but he missed the object pin, the head pin. Looking for tens. Josh takes ten. Boudreaux, Jonathan Boudreaux, and nine is seventy-two to sixty-one. Three three frames remaining in this match today. At the end of the string, we'll go on to the high-low jack shot. That's worth an additional twenty dollars uh, on their gift card, as well as uh, a couple of huge candy bars. And if they don't make the shot on the first ball for the $20 gift card, uh, they'll have an attempt on the second and third ball to try to knock down those three pins. Wow, that was a pretty try. And if they do, they'll receive a $5 gift card. That was a great try by Boudreaux. Playing the wall on that shot, he tried to take the six into the ten off the wall. Nearly did it. It was a seven by Yaritz, a ten for Boudreaux. Last two frames. So even though this match looks looks a bit out of reach, the contestants still a try for that double strike, win themselves uh, some bowling balls, perhaps. Josh Yaritz's favorite TV show is Two and a Half Men, something my wife and I watch pretty faithfully. Yeah, I'm the half. His favorite food is pizza, and he also enjoys baseball. Jonathan Boudreaux's favorite song is As Long As It's Oldies, It's Good, he says. His favorite TV show, another one, Two and a Half Men. His favorite movie is Don't Know. I guess he, I guess he didn't know, so he just writes Don't Know. Man, unless that's a movie that came out this time. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Chicken. His favorite food is chicken. And his favorite bowler is Peter Flynn, the legendary Peter Flynn, who just recently went into the Candlepin Bo uh, Bowling Hall of Fame. Last uh, last season. Look at this kid's average, Jonathan Boudreaux. Well, 112 in this house, but 121 at Lucky Strike. It's an impressive average. I'd take it. Jonathan's done very well for himself through the years. As well as Josh Yaritz by the uh, all the state championship patches he has on his shirt. Yeah, a nice little pattern on the back there. He's going to need a bigger shirt. Looks like we'll see Josh again in the championship show as they finish with a 95. 95 in the 114 is a total of 209. While Colleen Dumas and Jonathan Boudreaux finish out with an 89 and a total of 191. So some great bowling by our bowlers today. We're gonna go to break and we're gonna come back with the high-low jack in just a few moments. So please don't go away.